Hi guys, welcome to Thomtech Tutorials. This is Thomas and this is session 32 of tutorial 3. So in this session we are going to see what is validation and what are different types of validations available for file validation as well as data validations. But in this tutorial we will focus on file validation using metadata store and validation logs. So with that let's switch back to our excel sheet that we have created for metadata store. So you can see this is the metadata store data that we have created which is going to have multiple sheets. The first sheet that is validation type is going to store the basic information whether it's a file validation or it's a data validation. The next tab is going to store the different types of file validations available that is in this is just an example that is file size check, header count check, header name check, file extension check and the next one is like file size elaboration that is we will be uh, creating like different file name types so that means basically the name of the files uh, at a type level okay, and the corresponding threshold values and the next tab is going to store the header count likewise on the far right we will have header name and file extensions corresponding to the different file names okay so this is what we are going to uh, use as a metadata store as of now it will remain in an excel sheet and we will try to load it using a adf pipeline into the sql database okay and then essentially what we are going to do is in later sessions or I will show you like once the ADF session is done we will be creating different sort of like screens in Power Apps and we will try to control the updates inserts that we do on these tables in our metadata store so you can see like based on this excel sheets we have a pipeline that we have created in ADF okay so we have basically two pipelines for this example one is metadata validations refresh this is going to refresh all the metadata store data available for data validations so it has like a schema starting with FDV that is file data validation okay we have multiple tables and ultimately we are going to create a view or a subset of query which is going to give us this data okay this is the clubbed information coming out of the distributed logic that we have defined in our metadata store okay and you can see first one has a file name type which is going to store the file name the next one is like extension then we have the threshold for a file size then we will have the header count then we will have the header names so these are some of the some of the attributes or some of the matrices through which we will make sure that health of a file is like good to go to the next level okay so once this is done this one is executed we will go to our main pipeline that is file validation so soon after this file validations in the coming sessions we will try to create something in data validations so these two pipelines will be plugged inside one of our main ETL jobs which will make sure that a certain set of files are being file validated and data validated before it is pushed into further uh, down into the systems or the destinations okay so with that let's go through the logic like what has been done it's like a simple activity which is going to read all the files using the child item property okay and here you can see sorry and here you can see we have different folder structure that we have created and that is master zone raw zone and validation locks Okay, so for our example we are using the raw folder which is going to have all of our source so as of now it's an example the file can reside in an on-premise SQL database or it can be on file share on-premise file share it can be on SFTP or in a different system so based on that we will make sure that as a prerequisite we are creating a landing pipeline which will copy the data from different sources and push that into a data lake gen 2 so I have shown a couple of examples in my prior sessions you can just take a look on those and then this is uh, our raw zone where our file will reside and we will try to pull our file from here okay and in the next activity it's like a different get metadata activity that we are going to use by changing the property name if we can go to the property of this that is we are changing it to size likewise we will change this to column count likewise we will change this to structure okay and uh, 
finally we are going to create some variables which is going to hold the values coming out of this property of metadata so that we can get the file size we can get the number of columns available in a file and get the extension as well so for extension what we are trying to do is we are simply using a substring functions along with index and length functions in order to get the extension of a file whether it's like dots slx or it's txt or it's csv okay and ultimately after getting all these values or property value into the variables we will push that into our data flow which is the main mechanism that we have used for performing the file validation okay and this will be expecting different parameters like file name folder name file size header count file extensions coming from the main pipeline into the data flow okay and let's now open the data flow it's a simple data flow that we have so what we're trying to achieve here is uh, here we have a source our source is going to be a SQL query which I can copy and just put it into the SSMS and let me just trigger it so it is a query that is defined based on the metadata store values that we have defined in the Excel okay so ultimately we are going to get this and with this logic itself we can simply make out that we have all the relevant information that we should need in order to flag a file for its health okay so simply we are going to <coughs> write a logic we will perform some filters aggregations filters derived columns union and union these are all like simple functions which I have already covered in my prior sessions okay and ultimately I will be generating a file which will have this name that is validation log validation logs dot CSV okay so I will show you the example of the output of the file how it looks once it's executed okay so let me just open this file so once I open this file uh, you can see I have these values okay the first file that got picked up from the uh, ADF was a date file okay and in this date file you can see what is the issue that it had that is header count is not matching okay so let's do one thing let's go to the let's go to the date file let's open this okay so you can see this is an excel file and date is this okay fine now let's go to our metadata file that we have created okay great so I think initially there was some typo because of that that file was updated now let's go back and just trigger this main pipeline okay and let's see uh, what happens so it will take like uh, one or one and a half minutes in order to like spin up the cluster and just uh, uh, run the output value okay so in the meantime let's go back and I will show you um, the output of this file and explain you what is happening okay so you can see with respect to one file we have the header count mismatch the second is like file extension mismatch okay uh, because in the metadata we have defined uh, the file format as Excel SX that was just for a typo purpose just to test the negative scenario but in actual it is dot XLX file right so that was like one of the one of the criteria that was like captured by this mechanism okay second was the header count in actual files we have two headers that is this one you can see one and two and in the metadata store we have defined as four so that's why this this uh, type of mismatch will be popped up and anybody reviewing the file they will get to know what is the exact issue on a file and why it has not been processed and then later at some point we can also create some screen like in power apps and we will can try to show up this validation logs there so that anybody like monitoring like uh, like from the support team or from the business gets to know whether the system or whether the destination system or the target system has been updated with the latest data or not and if not then what is the potential reason for any sort of like failure 
and uh, all these things can be monitored like in power apps as well so this is what we have built in order to get all these issues details tracked and then let's go back to the pipeline that is still executing yeah it's still executing so let's give it some time and in the meantime let's go back let's go back to the file let's close this okay so most probably what is going to happen is like uh, uh, i just made a change to the location where the validation logs will be generated okay it's something that needs to get generated here i think it's already generated okay so now let's open the most updated validation log files let's see what's the outcome of that yeah so this time customer file is picked let's go back and stop it so i think that's it the purpose of this pipeline is done okay and now let's go and open the output of the file you can see this time customer file is picked up first and the format in the metadata store is defined as xlx but now header count is not matching that's because we have defined the metadata store with a header count of four but in actual it has two columns okay in fact like not two three columns okay one is like a uh, customer id and uh, customer name and date of birth so that's the reason it's not matching the second one is like file size in bytes okay so definitely the size of the customer file okay let me just go back open it and here you can see in the metadata store we have defined as 100 and or like 1025 bytes okay but here you can see this is like eight uh, this is like around uh, 8000 bytes around 8000 bytes okay so definitely like uh, whatever is there in the in the actual file is greater than what we have defined in the metadata store so this is how the file will generate the report and ultimately we can we can make use of this log files either to show that in power apps as a screen or we can just uh, send this using like a power automate or logic apps and send this as a email to the customers stating like a tabular providing a tabular report to the customers or the support members stating like which all files have been processed which all files have been failed due to these validations so that's what i wanted to cover here if you guys have any further questions or if you guys have not understood any of the steps that i have shown please do reach out to me or comment uh, in my video below yeah thanks for your time bye bye